I don't know Kevin's beliefs on predestination, but I know that he believes that no amount of studying will change his grade on the final exam. <laughs> um, one time in particular, uh, Kevin and I were doing some homework. It was due the next morning, of course, and it was we were only about halfway done, and the clock strikes about 9 p.m. And Kevin just immediately begins packing up, getting ready to go. And I asked what he was doing, and he was like, well, it's bedtime. <laughs> we, we gave it our best shot, but it, it's just not getting done. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, um, so it was definitely not my bedtime. So I stayed back and, you know, Google asked big people for answers, cobbled something together, and um, when I finally got home, it was probably a couple hours later, and uh, you know, I walked past Kevin's room every night, and I noticed he's still awake. <laughs> the door is still, the door's wide open, lights are on, and he's just sitting at his computer. So, just as I'm about to go in and just berate him for abandoning me to this homework, I, uh, I noticed that he was FaceTiming with his wife to be. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think, you know, a lot, a lot of us um, in the bridal party lived with Kevin for years, and I think it was always pretty obvious that, you know, if Kev Kevin may not have cared about a lot, but he definitely cared about Madeline. <laughs> and, you know, it was, really, it was really only a matter of time, I think, until they uh, found their way together. Um, uh, you know... It was clear that Kevin liked Madeline because, you know, he would find time to FaceTime her in his busy schedule. You know, we had a lot of work all the time. Um, and if she were, you know, if he knew she were coming to town, he'd get a little pep in his step. And he'd even, like, vacuum the house. <laughs> or, like, at least the parts she would see. <laughs> and, you know. But, like, why wouldn't he care about Madeline? She's beautiful and smart and caring. And you just bring, like, a warmth to everywhere that you go. You really do. And, you know, on top of all that, you make Kevin a better man. So, it's no wonder that he asked you to marry him. Even if it may be a wonder why you agreed. <laughs> yeah, to Kevin, to Madeline, and their bright, warm future together. resident wedding expert here. Um, this is a beautiful day. Um, maybe the best day? Um, you know, it's been kind of coming along gradually. You know, you guys are falling in love, falling in love. Okay, they're getting serious, they're getting serious. Um, it seemed to happen like slowly, like gradually. But I have to say, I knew the, I know for me the exact moment I knew, like, wow, this is for real. But I have to give you a little bit of backstory. So um, Madeline's not super duper into sports. Um, that everybody has their thing, you know, and sports are not hers. Um, she has been quoted during the Olympics to say, I, I just don't really get it. Um, it's okay, we love her anyway. Um, so, so in light of all of this, um, when we were in high school, um, our parents encourage us to play a sport, um, you know, builds character and gets you fit and all these good things. Um, we all did it and it was not a problem. When Madeline went to do it, um, it was kind of like, okay, what, what's she gonna do? Like, okay, so she um, joined the swimming team and she was really good. And we were all like, wow, wow, like, how is she this good? Like, I mean, she's active, but like, she's not like into things. Or like, how are you like, good at this sport? And as it turns out, like, it's because the transition from sleeping in bed as a tired high schooler to doing laps in a pool is like really similar. It's like you're in the same position, so no problem. Um, so in, in light of that backstory, um, this summer, here I am, it's like a hot Sunday afternoon, and um, Kevin, I mean, Madeline is like running down the stairs in sneakers, and I'm, I'm kind of nosy, so I'm like, oh, Madeline, where are you going, you know? Um, she's like, oh, I'm going to go play tennis with Kevin. And I was like, oh, really? Like, on a Sunday afternoon? Like, it's hot outside, and like, today's like the day of rest, and like, you're going to go play tennis with Kevin? Um, this went on for like a month or two until like, you know, we're 
it really picked up and it got cold. So um, that's when I knew though. Like literally I just remember thinking, wow, if she's going out in this heat to go play a sport, upright, <laughs> tennis, <laughs> like this guy is like for real. So, um, so that's what I knew. Um, <laughs> Today starts forever. Yeah. 